हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू माइक्रोसॉफ्ट प्रोजेक्ट 2013 कोर्स ओवरव्यू नाउ व्हाट आर द टॉपिक्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन आर वीडियो सीरीज दीज आर द टॉपिक्स व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू कवर इन माय वीडियो सीरीज द फ्यू ऑफ द टॉपिक्स आर द टास्क क्रिएशन डब्ल्यूबीएस कैलेंडर क्रिटिकल टास्क वी हैव माइलस्टोन टास्क कंस्ट्रेंट टेम्पलेट्स एंड टाइमलाइन आल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर रिसोर्सेज अर्न वैल्यू एनालिसिस वी हैव टास्क इंस्पेक्टर these few of the key features that is filtering grouping highlighting a particular task then we have use of table what are the different type of reports that is cost report resource report and we also have the report organizer now let me give you a small introduction of few of these topics just like task creation in task creation we are going to learn how we create task that is manually schedule task and auto schedule task then we have predecessors and successors wbs that is work breakdown structure then we have calendars in which we will learn how we can create calendar how we can assign calendar then how we can define the working days the non working days and the working hours as well then we have the milestone milestones are the tasks which are been marked as a completed task we will learn more about it in our video series we also have task constraint now to a particular task we can also define few of the constraints and these constraint are something as start to start finish to start start to finish and finish to finish all right moving on with the next is the templates now templates are basically used for a predefined project layout so we will understand more in our video series as well about it timeline as you know about timeline timeline is can be seen right above my project screen which is just above the gantt chart it helps me to give the overall duration of a particular task and helps me understanding the progress of my project moving on to my next slide is i have resources now resources are the key elements in microsoft project without resources my project cannot run because for every task we need to assign a resources and with with each resources there is a cost involved we will analyze more about it in this particular topic now we next we have is the earned value analysis this is the most important topic in this particular video series it is the standard way of measuring the progress of a particular project then we have the task inspector as the name suggests itself it talks about inspecting a particular task then features like filtering grouping and highlighting can be covered very easily because it talks about filtering a particular task this thing talks about grouping a particular task and then we have highlight which automatically says highlighting a particular task we can highlight a task depending whether it's critical or non critical similarly i can group the critical task and the non critical task as well moving on with the next is the use of tables now we have different kind of tables which are readily available with microsoft project 2013 we will explore more of these tables in our video series then we have the resource report which helps me to give me the report of the resources so what are the resources which are used what is what is the report how it is the how the analysis analysis is done this can be covered under this topic and last but not the least is the report organizer it helps me to organize the report entirely we will have a better understanding of it in our practical approach of the video series so guys this was all about the overview thank you